Sad as it is, Quavo already took sides and he made a statement. The DA is basically saying Quavo name is cleared through everything that happened. Jay Prince, he stated, why is Maya acting like that? Like, she's acting like that for one reason, because she know for a fact of the pressure of the Rico case coming down on the, this whole family and coming down on the mob ties organization. I want y'all to know one thing that they said about Offset. They said Offset, he fell back. They said Offset, he's not going in on them no more. WAC 100, he stated that everybody tried to defend Cardi B and Offset, but at the end of the day, they went off on them for no reason. At the end of the day, we know for a fact Takeoff was sent up at an untimely and unorderly fashion. Like, I know for a fact that people sitting back looking at this like, man, if it ain't one thing, it's another. You got to watch the people that you keep around you because the main ones who are around you be the ones that real life get you taken out the box. And from what they saying, everybody named the suspects who was in this whole ordeal. And the paperwork, it shows people standing around and it was two people arguing. I want y'all to really look at this because take off father He's looking at them like, it, like this ain't right. Like, y'all can't keep dragging my son's name through the mud like this. And we know for a fact that it's a lot of people sitting back looking at it like, the Rico going to be coming before they even know it. Like, at the end of the day, we know for a fact that a lot of people was accused in this. And they only got the people who they really wanted. Quavo, he spoke out and said that they grabbed takeoff and instantly tried to... They tried to rob Takeoff, man. Like, at the end of the day, we know this, man. And it's sad that he had to go through this. People need to show some type of sympathy or show at least a little bit of respect. J. Prince Jr., he sent back. He gave the most, the utmost disrespect. And, however, again, this goes out to J. Prince Jr. Because they saying that he realized what's the cause of everything that's going on. And it was all retaliation from what happened of the accused suspects. They tried to accuse Migo Bands, man. And then J. Prince Jr., he looked over there. He said, like, Migo Bands, I know you ain't do it. But at the same time, I'm going to cover my boys before I cover anybody. I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on because... This is a small world, and I know for a fact, J. Prince and them not that gangster enough to go outside their city and talk like that, pull those type of stunts. They know how people from Atlanta get out. They already know it's R.P. takeoff or nothing. J. Prince has denied the rumor that takeoff had to check in whenever he came to Houston, saying that he doesn't have time for that. A rap a lot record founder did state, however, his influence that he had takeoff, RP takeoff, his influence that he had on the city, it was at one's disposal who can serve as a benefit to those who visited. I want y'all to really look at this man because J Prince Senior, he's looking at everything that they saying, everything that's going around that many people have held back for a long time towards the Prince family. Mike Prince not too happy about Takeoff's death. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that it's a lot of people know that Quavo, he has ties with mob ties that nobody can really put their finger on or really fathom. Like at the end of the day, we know for a fact, Mike Prince stated from the horse's mouth, if Migo Bands would have connected and hit Look, Cam, DJ Pat, or one of them females, it would have been over with for them. Like, at the end of the day, the tables would have turned. And I know a lot of people sitting out here looking at the fact that Mike Prince was the main one. He was in the middle of the crowd. He heard everything that went on. He saw every punch that got thrown. And he, real life, could have avoided everything that went on that night. I want y'all to really look at everything that's going on and factor to... Basically, takeoff getting sent up. I know if a lot of people not familiar with the takeoff situation, takeoff was sent up at a bowling alley that was owned by J. Prince Sr. J. Prince Sr., he cleaned up. He had the people come in. Real live, they checked two people. Like, 
two people that was in the crowd, and those was the ones who they retrieved the footage from. A lot of the prosecutors, they're sitting back looking at the eyes of Jay Prince coming out and basically saying that Quavo brought the wrong person with him. Like, the person who was with him was stupid, and this person pertaining to Migo Bands. I want everybody to know that Migo Bands was Quavo and Takeoff's personal security. This is before the checking in. And both suspects are officially indicted. Like, I want you guys to really look at what's going on because we know that Look Cam played a big role in this. But according to Gilly the Kid, in the preview, like, we all know for a fact that he sat back and said before him and Wallow even agreed to have them on a show, that they already knew that Jay Prince Sr. was going to bring up either Takeoff, Offset, or Quavo. But you know for a fact that everybody know the CEO, P, he's not going. Meeting up with who was coming to his city for his protection. So I want to bring something to everybody's attention. Everybody looking at the fact that Lil' Cam Shooter was the main one who was watching Takeoff two hours before the shooting even happened. I want everybody to pay attention closely to what Gilly and Wallow said. Feds are stating that Cardi B forced a lot of people upon this path to basically speculating everything with this conjunction with takeoff and takeoff with that basically brought to the whole city of Houston. It made it show that he had no sympathy for the people who he was basically. We can put all the pieces to this puzzle together now. That is why Offset swung on Jay Prince Sr. and Mike Prince tried to break it up. Okay, it's aired out there now. Everybody want to have the fact of what's really going on when we all can really look at this and really take full initiative to this. Look how stated that the prosecutor was leading him basically to say certain things and basically deny certain excruciating evidence in this conjunction. I want everybody to know that we know what happened at the bowling alley is on footage. Amigo Bands, he up the blicky before anybody even started arguing. So I want to let y'all know when you out in public, when you out with a whole bunch of street guys, man, y'all know for a fact you have to be safe. You have to be cautious. You have to Look at all surroundings. You know Migo Bands initiated everything because Lil' Cam saw Migo Bands up the blicky. Once Migo Bands up the blicky, Migo Bands started blowing. Boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, Lil' Cam ran up, grabbed takeoff. Everybody know what happened. It's in the footage. And I want everybody to really be cautious of Jay Prince Jr. walking over takeoff and not giving, like, not caring. Cardi B was shocked at the prosecutor's line of questioning. I want y'all to know one thing. I want to send my condolences out to Takeoff and his people. Like at the end of the day, we know for a fact, Takeoff and Quavo, they rock with the GDs from Atlanta. Everybody know for a fact that it's more people ran for Takeoff than they was ran for J Prince Senior when that situation happened. I want y'all to really look at it, man, because they picking sides now. And when you start choosing and picking sides, y'all already know it's going to be a line in the fire on. Like at the end of the day, man, get caught in the crossfire. I want everybody to know that it's a short line between everything that's going on. We got to understand that we need to open our eyes to the fact that offset he know Quavo has something to do with this. And Gilly and Wallow, they vouched for it. They agreed on everything that went on. Offset, he only gave the feds what they needed to know. And I want to let y'all know that by him even coming out and basically putting everything on the table, it goes to show that. And then next thing you know, when everybody looked back at the footage, you see Takeoff was talking to Quavo, whatever Quavo whispered in his ear before he got sent up. People need to go back and look at the fact that Lil' Cam, he had his hands in his hoodie, man. If he would've never had his hands in his hoodie and then pulled out the blick and up and started blowing, like somebody could've saw him instantly pulling his hands out of his hoodie. This is what goes to show. Y'all gotta be careful with the company you keep. That J. Prince Sr. 
pay Wallow and Gilly. And the thing is, he didn't just pay one of them and did, did it under the table. He basically exposed the whole mob ties Rico. That it ain't no joke when your own people telling on you. That's why you got to be cautious of the people who you have in your inner circle. And again, this goes out to mob ties. I want to let y'all know what the feds is bringing forth to the table. A 23-page indictment stating Moneybag Yo was the main one who basically, he gave Black Youngster the 90000 to give to J. Prince Jr. And it's all coincides and ties into everything that just happened with takeoff getting sent up. I want you guys to know that Moneybag Yo instantly, he rushed to J. Prince Sr., he told him, like, keep my name out of it. We already got enough going on as it is. Offset, not too happy about it because a lot of people heat it due to the fact of one thing and one reason only. Everybody know that you got to be cautious of the people you be around. And then next thing you know, when everybody look back at the footage, you see Takeoff was talking to Quavo, whatever Quavo whispered in his ear before he got sent up. People need to go back and look at the fact that look Cam, he had his hands in his hoodie, man. If he would have never had his hands in his hoodie and then pulled out the blick and up and started blowing, like somebody could have saw him instantly pulling his hands out of his hoodie. This is what goes to show. Y'all got to be careful with the company you keep. Offset, he only gave the feds what they needed to know. And I want to let y'all know that by him even coming out and basically putting everything on the table, it goes to show that, that J. Prince Sr. paid Wallow and Gilly. And the thing is, he didn't just pay one of them and did, did it under the table. He basically exposed the whole mob ties Rico. That exposing him is at its highest I want y'all to really look at everything that Cardi B even put out there. She gave the feds everything they needed to know and basically implemented J. Prince Sr. And what happened with takeoff when Lil' Cam ran to the car. And then next thing you know, it was the second getaway car that picked Lil' Cam up. Right before Lil' Cam hopped in that second getaway car, he passed the blicky to J. Prince Sr. And J. Prince Sr., he wiped it off with this blue towel. I want y'all to really look at what's going on because at the end of the day, it's R.I.P. takeoff or none because DJ Academics, he feel that offset. You forgot? Remember when you called up on me and I came to L.A. and met with you because you was nervous about your wife performing because she had them issues about using the word flute. It's multiple people in Offset Circle who went back and ran and told J. Prince Sr. what was going on and how he felt about the whole situation with Takeoff. I want to let y'all know one thing that we need to keep in mind that it's a lot of lives at stake. We got to be mindful of the things we do and the people we keep around us because one slip up and all your business is out in the open and now everybody know where you stay at, everybody know where you going, everybody know your whereabouts. If you know for a fact R.I.P. take off before anything, we know for a fact that the Prince has been in business for a long time and a lot of people got sent up behind them. I know that a lot of people can really open their eyes and understand this is a revolving door and we got to really pay attention to what's going on because people know that the Prince, they took sides. With Gilly and Wallow, and Gilly and Wallow, they kind of was out of line. Now they weren't kind of, they was out of line at the end of the day. Offset walked in there three deep. You can't get mad at him for going to check up on the status of everything that happened with his nephew respectfully. He walked up in there under a certain criteria to the point where he was only three deep. There's no way they should have even called security. And J. Prince Jr., his little cousin, he was the main one who ran at the back. 
all Offset wanted was the footage and to basically let them know, G-check them about don't come to his girl. Don't ever sidestep and come to nobody girl and question they girl about no business that y'all got going on behind closed doors. It's a lot of people out here don't really understand the fact that life too short. You got to open your eyes to the fact that Takeoff got sent up at his untimely demise. R.I.P. Takeoff, man. He warned and offset like, he a, hey, he had set anybody up, man. Like, I want y'all to know what's really going on, man. And we all know for a fact what happened with Takeoff. And Mike Prince spoke out and started crying. But people saying that Mob Ties was the one that sent Takeoff up. So why is y'all crying? Gilly just trying to find out why the academics walk up in there and give all the information that they needed. I want y'all to pay attention. Jay Prince Sr., he not taking this too lightly because he looking at academics for the simple facts like, boy, we I, I should send them people at you. I, I realize I should send them goons at you for one reason, respect. I want y'all to really look at everything that's going on. Church. I want y'all to really look at everything and take heed to it because J. Prince Sr., he looking at everybody around him and he ain't trusting none of them because he said somebody dropped the ball. He said real player, real bosses don't move like that. He said bosses only move under a certain criteria of standards. Feds are stating that Cardi B forced a lot of people upon this path to basically speculating everything with this conjunction with takeoff and takeoff. Everything that happened when J. Prince Jr. stepped over his his corpse, y'all know what that what that basically brought to the whole city of Houston. It made it show that he had no sympathy for the people who he was basically meeting up with who was coming to his city for his protection. So I want to bring something to everybody's attention. Everybody looking at the fact that Lil' Cam Shooter was the main one who was watching take off two hours before the shooting even happened. I want everybody to pay attention closely to what Gilly and Wallow said. They stated a lot of, a lot of things that's really going to implement who set takeoff up, RP takeoff. Crazy, you know, what I think about the whole situation is this, man. Dude fraudulent, man. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't cut like that. Your, your old man paid away, dog. You trying to be something that you ain't for what? You trying to live his legacy. He just paid away and made a man for himself. But how he going about that, bro? He just going about it the wrong way. How he trying to push it in? And, uh, hey, excuse me. He's trying, he trying to put everything in the right perspective. And his... With his thought process and his frame of mind, man, if he's gonna be a leader, dog, that ain't how a leader, man, instead of training, man, because ain't nothing. Like a, a weapon on them. What you mean? The people who got the weapon on them is with you. How, how dumb do you sound? Like real talk. Some people gotta know that. Okay. This don't look right. This look fishy. I'm finna, I'm finna do some investigation on it. Like, y'all know people get set up left to right. Yeah. Man, they got to take off chain, man. That chain worth one M. I want y'all to really look at that, man. R.I.P. take off. Everybody know for a fact that it's too many people who play the role in this, but in a sense, you can't get mad at nobody for what they do. You can't get mad at nobody because we know one thing. We know the main characters that play the role in this look camp. And then don't forget about DJ Pat. What's the, what's the update on DJ Pat? He just out. Yeah, DJ Pat just, he just out. You feel me? He bonded out. 
no house arrest. Y'all got to look at the strategic move that's been played in this, man. Because at the end of the day, we know for a fact that Wallow and Gilly, they kind of made a bad, they made a bad decision by letting them even ask certain things out on the show about an open Rico case. You can put your finger on the fact that everybody sit back and look at the fact how it went viral so quick. And the only reason it went viral was because Jay Prince Sr. went in on takeoff. I don't blame takeoff for even retaliating at the end of the day. We can't take this stuff for granted, man. thing they would have done was violated and tried to rob Quavo. Me and Quavo didn't walk in the hood of Fifth Ward, me, him, and Jazz by ourselves. In the whole hood. So you mean to tell me that Quavo had more, like, he had more protection in Fifth Ward than Takeout and they was together? Tell me someone going on behind the scenes. no man, you know what I'm saying, because we follow him, first and foremost, you know, and personally, I asked myself, was it anything else that could have been done to manicure that situation, you know what I'm saying, because you know, we so They gonna duck their tail. They gonna real life fall back and they gonna try to clean up and cover up everything that went on at the bowling alley and everybody saw the video. Do we have to remind them again that Look Cam ran up behind Takeoff and Look Cam was with the security that's supposed to have been protecting Takeoff? Yeah, yeah, it's obvious, bro, that that was on y'all watch, bro. That's just like, if, if I'm from, uh, I'm from Illinois, I'm from Chicago, okay? And, and vice versa, you came down on my time, and I'm supposed to pay for your security, and my entourage don't handle anything, and then if something happened to you, and you come down on my time, and I'm supposed to have your back, bro, I just gonna make, I, when everything hits the fan, how just gonna make everything look, bro? And it's just, I duke the jewel and everything, Man, for real, always real serious, bro. I want to see my comments, though, bro. Yeah, because it's real live. It's heating up for Houston. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that this is a revolving door, man. And I know for a fact that people sitting back looking at it like, why would Mike Prince start really, like, Hey, they think they run Houston at the end of the day. 
Yeah, it is sad. There's no reason the people who was there shouldn't have been questioned by the feds. Why was it that everybody was able to go home while takeoff people was the only ones had to sit, stand right there and wait for the ambulance to come and everything? Man. Like at the end of the day, folks, a lot of y'all are from the streets, so y'all know. People, people really need to fall back with certain things, man, and really look at things for what it is. The feds not taking this too lightly. Hey, sweet baby. Exposing what's going on in the case. That's why Offset spoke out. Offset only said something because they did five interviews. And people can really look at that and be like, hold on. Why did y'all study doing interviews basically saying how, like, take our family feel when really they ain't even talked to the family? Offset wow. exposed wow. it. Man, it's crazy, man. You and me both, because like I say now, nah, you know, when it first hit the fan, I'm just saying, like, how you can, how they say we used to, how they say with the uh, police force and these force a lot of because they family got a lot of ties with that. So that's yeah, the, yeah, they, they said they family got a lot of ties with they they connected basically, and that's why they able to go through mob ties and real life like place the setup on takeoff. Like at the end of the day, they said Quavo was involved, and Quavo he was the one who got text messages right before it all happened. They text him and told him step outside the bowling alley. So let me ask you this here, bro. It's obvious. You can easily put two and two together. Like what you just said, I just heard your story and I heard everything that you said.